Thanks so much for tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week. Drop a comment on this video and give the video a share if you want to support my DIY channel. And if you're interested in advertising on my YouTube channel, feel free to email me at lastrockerstv at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Last Rockers TV, the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music. I'm here with Ray from Teenage Bottle Rocket. How are Hello. you? Hello. Hi, good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for giving me some of your time. I, I poached you off the stage because I couldn't get a couldn't get a hold of you in advance. Right. Hey, it worked out. Here we are. Yes. Yay. So you're actually here. You're doing a European tour with um, the Raging Nathans. Nathan. Yep, that's right. Totally. Yeah. Um, they, for some reason, did not play Rebellion, but they played it before. Yeah. Um, but last night we played with them in Dublin, and tomorrow we are playing in London without them. So it's just like two days away from them for, at the moment. But yeah, yeah, it's cool to be out here with uh, you know friends from the States. Yeah, la I think last weekend, actually, they played Wonk Fest, a festival in London that I was covering. Wonk Unit? Yeah, Wonk, Wonk Unit's Wonk, Wonk Fest. Wonk Unit Festival, <laughs> right. I, I'm familiar with uh, I love I love it, yes. How come you guys didn't play that one? Um, I think that we like, uh, well, what happened is we got offered more money somewhere else, Alex. So, you know, step it up. <laughs> 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 Gotta go where the money is. <laughs> share some memorable moments from your tour so far looks like you guys um, have been having a lot of fun from your instagram yeah totally uh we went to ireland for the first time that was great um i love belfast it was cool a little bit more elbow room compared to dublin but dublin was nice went to the rock and roll museum there um saw some stuff saw some Sinead o'connor stuff <laughs> saw some u2 stuff played the drummer to u2's drum set bragged about it on stage and then this one guy took the piss out of it i'm trying to add that to my vocabulary here in england yeah. taking the piss out of something i do like i do like how they say that <laughs> I, 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 I always fuck it up i'm always like taking a piss on something like, no 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 you're not taking a piss on something you're taking, taking the, the piss, piss out. out of it yeah you're taking it out i'll get it i'll understand and taking yeah. the piss out I got that. Um, I got that today. I was taking the piss out of Daryl from Cox Bar. He got like a big binky, and I was like, "What is that? A butt plug?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm adding this one. Also, gutted, gutted. We don't say gutted in America. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Yeah. I. I, 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 I. You have to say gutted. Gutted. So what? What? Um. Words. What? English words have you learned this trip? Because I, I learn a new one every trip. Every time I come to England, I learn, I, I pick up some new ones. Well, these dudes in Ireland were saying, what's the crack? And I'm all, what is, could that mean? And then the crack means fun in I Irish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so that was it may be an English word I learned, but it's an Irish word. What's the crack? Right. Yeah. That's, that's the vibe there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I try to speak as much German as I can when I'm in Germany, and we've yeah. had a lot of German shows. Yeah, how were um, how are your German shows? They, they happened already, right? Or they're coming up? We have one more show in Hamburg. Okay. And um, we have a song in German. I made this like punk song out of a a song I learned German one in high school. 
and it's turned into such a fun time on stage in Germany. The Germans love it. I don't <laughs> What is the song? It's called Ich bin Ausländer und sprechen nicht gut Deutsch. <laughs> bitte langsam, bitte langsam, bitte sprechen Sie da langsam. Ich bin Ausländer und sprechen nicht gut Deutsch. Wait, what does that mean? I know a little bit of German. It means I'm not from here, dude, and uh, I, I don't speak a little bit. I don't speak good German. Yeah. Nicht gut Deutsch. <laughs> not good German. Bitte langsam. Slowly, please. But they probably they probably appreciate that that you're trying. You're making yeah. an effort. Yeah, it's all. Right. <laughs> um So can you share some of the worst moments from your tour? There have to be some bad ones. Oh yeah, I mean there's always right. Well, the vans turned into the complaint compartment and it's just uh eight people slammed in this van. There's bunks in there so we get to sleep and get away from each other, but it is crammed and that's really the only thing I complain about. Yeah. Been able to get around and walk around a lot and um been there's been a lot of ferries, so it's just a lot of long trips. Yeah. Right. We played in Dublin last night, like I said, and then we had to take a ferry, and then we got kind of stuck in traffic in Liverpool, and it just took forever to get to Rebellion, and we got here an hour before we played, typical teenage bottle rocket fashion. It's very stressful. S yeah, set of merch, <laughs> everybody wanted to bail, everybody in the band wanted to bail, and I'm like, this is fight, let's stay. And now we're resetting up merch because we're dumb and we tore it down too early and we almost left. But now we're gonna we're rocking. We're now shredding. You're, and now you're staying and you went you went shopping. This is a new fit. Yeah, and Part of courtesy um, of the merch stalls downstairs. Yes, I love it. And I got a new spike bracelet. <laughs> my wife Rachel threw away my spike bracelet. I think she's like, I don't know where it went. <laughs> so every time we play Rebellion, I get a new punk bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> You get like eight punk points for that. I, oh yeah, I'm eight. racking them up. You get you get more if you can hurt yourself on your own jewelry. <laughs> it's been ripping my sweater more, which I'm like, oh dude, I think that's what you're supposed to do with the sweater. <laughs> that's what that was the story of my stockings. <laughs> <Right? laughs> that just got hung up on everything. <laughs> yeah, it was. It used to be my jewelry, and then it would just I'd get I'd get drunk, and then I'd be like, fuck this, and like instead of trying to gently undo it, you right. know, that's probably gonna be you at the end of the night. You're gonna be like, I'm stuck. I don't know if it's gonna make it through tour. <laughs> we'll see. Three more shows. shows what kind of things do you guys do to prepare for your shows obviously you know with all the the traffic and delays you've had getting there what kind of things do you do to get yourself ready um that's a cool question i change my guitar strings every two shows yes and that's sort of like a ritual in a way and you don't like, have a guitar tech right <laughs> no 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 well i am my art guitar tech he's yeah me. you are he's me um <laughs> But we have this German dude, Andy, with us that's been uh, tearing down my guitar stuff for me. And I get to just walk off and get into dry clothes. Yeah. Um, that's been fun. But yeah, before a show, every other show, I, I change my strings and it's turned into this weird sort of therapeutic ritual. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I love do, doing that stuff. So I did see that on another interview you did, um, you know, talking about your rig and all the custom stuff you yeah, have. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so for that, what is it that made you want to change your strings every two shows? Um, I snap them, and yeah. I only have one guitar usually. I have a backup in, in the States and in Canada, mm -hmm. but I'm usually just flying in with one guitar, and if I don't change them every two shows, I'll pop a string, and then it's just really boring to see me change the string on stage, and then the band plays like a bc boys cover yeah. we try to make it work yeah but yeah it's always a catastrophe if i snap a string so that's that's why but also yeah it's just like become sort of this like preparation thing and also we play a slayer song we played raining blood walking on the stage at this point like a thousand shows it feels like and that's sort of like ritualistic as well just like getting prepped for a show like yo raining blood's playing let's get it let's do it yeah Here we are that's awesome so 
I did see that you guys are working with Pirates Press now, but you're still on Fat, right? We're kind of free agents, you know. Okay. We, like we've been known to jump labels here and there, and uh, we did a seven inch on on Pirates Press. We did, you know, we are definitely writing songs. You know, we just sort of release a record every two years, and we have eight demos right now. That's cool. And I love four of them. <laughs> and, and then the other ones, you you like them, you hate them, you're not sold on them. As soon as we get enough songs that I love, we're going to book time in the studio. And like as far as the record label goes, we'll figure that out whenever we get to that road. But we, um, yeah, got to write some songs that are just like great. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, we always, that's just when we, we pull the trigger when we're just like, oh, these are great. What's and we're your, not quite there yet. What's your process when you sit down to write new music? Um, recently, lately, last three records lately, um, we've been writing song titles first. Mm -hmm. And so if something pops into my head, I put it into my notes on my phone. And if I pick up my guitar and I'm in the mood to write a song, sometimes I'll just hum out like a la 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 what? And then I'll look at my song titles. I'll be, oh shit, friend named Fly. Okay, this could work with friend named Fly. <laughs> and then I don't know. It's not really that intense. Yeah. Maybe yeah. friend named Fly will become a song. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be on the next record. Maybe it'll get. I don't know. Yeah, you guys write kind of silly songs. Like there was one. It's one of your most streamed songs on Spotify, and it's the one about being a dog or something. Uh huh. What is what is that song about? I was um, like, I was listening to it, and I was like, what the? F <laughs> is, is this a bondage reference? I did see that. What one of your band members, Miguel, is into the bondage and the the S &M. <laughs> and M. There's like, a lot of questions coming this, at once here. Um, it's like, well, I, I want to be a dog. Was uh, Cody wrote it, and it was literally written because his dog was taking a nap on the couch and he had to go to work and he saw <laughs> dude I want to be a dog yeah <laughs> and there it is <laughs> nothing heavier than that um bondage no no that's miguel uh, he's just weird I, that's just something separate <laughs> that's something separate i did see in a really old interview you did like 10 years ago you were talking about that you were in germany with Fat Mike, and he took you to some dungeon, and then you said your your bandmate Miguel like shows up and his dick is taped or something, and like <laughs> in, this, in this like apparatus, it was like, did you do that on the plane or like? <laughs> oh my god, you know, and now this has to live on the internet again. It does. You be it deep was enough. too good. It was too good right. not to. I'm sorry, I had and, to. Uh, I I understand. Um, yeah, I, we used to do things, man. We used to do drugs. Now I don't drink or do drugs. I um try. I well, I smoke weed sometimes. <laughs> sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, there's been some pretty crazy parties, and um, rebellion's always one of them for sure. Like last time we played here. I was partying with those dudes in Pennywise, and I woke up in London the next day on their bus. So, and then and that's I, far. Like, I mean, like Blackpool to London is it? Like, yeah, a four they hour train they kidnapped ride. me and um, <laughs> woke up on their bus in London. And me and Miguel were so over punk at that point. Yeah, we played. It was us, Teenage Bottle Rocket, um, Good Riddance, Face to Face, and Pennywise at Shepherd's Bush in London. Mm -hmm. Me and Miguel played, and then we went to the movies. <laughs> We, we ditched the show. Like, we watched like a romantic comedy too. It was kind of awkward. Bomb. Yeah. Um, what was it called? Um, the Big Sick. So oh, yeah. That it was one. so that good. One. Yeah. We loved it. That one was like an Oscar nom a few years ago. It was so yeah. good. And yeah, that, that, was our <laughs> last, that was my last rebellion experience. <laughs> like, oh you, I partied so hard at Rebellion, I went to the movies the next night. <laughs> You're behaving now because you are you're a dad, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Dad and so life. is Miguel. Dad life now. <laughs> totally. Yeah, me and Miguel have changed. We're fathers. How do you how do you balance like you know when you come out on tour and obviously you're you're doing the band thing and then when you get home how is that you know for you the the difference the dynamic of it? 
Um, well, you know, FaceTime helps out a lot. Yeah. And uh, I have a kid in high school, Milo, mm -hmm. and he seems to be a little more complicated than the babies. You know, the babies are just like, it's like right there. Like, oh, I have to change his diaper. He smells bad. Oh, he's hungry. I'll feed him. The high school kid, it's just like, oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> Like, he got into a, the Grateful Dead for a while, and I think that's how you become defiant. When your dad's in a punk band, you're like, I like the Grateful Dead. Yeah. And I love watching Milo play the drums, and he, I, I could watch him play Grateful Dead sucks on the drums, and I'm like, that's, I'm fine with that, you know? But he outgrew it already. Like, yeah, Grateful Dead sucks. And he's he's a maggot, you know? He's Slipknot's his jam. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I don't try to, like, no, you're only listening to the Ramones. Yeah. And... Well, you yeah, can't. They have to find their own musical way. And it could be worse, right? It could be um, Garth Brooks or something. I, I don't want to take the piss out of Garth Brooks. Oh, you said it right that time. <laughs> Taking the piss out. Uh, right. <laughs> um, you know, it, it could be... It could be worse, but like the babies are easy. Um, Rachel does great at home with the babies whenever I'm on tour. So I'm just lucky that I have a wife that puts up with my bullshit, you yeah. know? And <laughs> at least I can like kind of like sell records and make money and contribute to the diaper. The fee. diaper fund. The di yeah. <laughs> right. So. so the diaper fund now, it's no longer the beer fund. The drug fund is the diaper fund. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, so let's close with what else do you have coming up for the band? Obviously, you're making some new music. Yeah. Um, and we're playing Punk in the Park. That'll be fun. Okay. And we're doing uh, a tour on the East Coast with our friends in Tightwire. Cool. And we're coming back to Europe in October. We're doing, we're, we're doing Europe four times this year. This is our third. Nice. So we went to Italy and Spain in February. And then this time it's UK and Germany. Yeah, and we did Slam Dunk earlier, like, two months ago or whatever. It was just two shows in the UK, and then we yeah. flew back and went on tour with the Queers in America yeah. and Canada. Um, so, yeah, we're doing some East Coast shows with, with Tight Wire. We're doing something in Chicago um, October 20th, the weekend there, with my other band, Sack, and the Queers are playing, and Teenage Bottle Rocket's playing, Flatfoot 56 is playing, if I'm saying that properly. Um yeah, and then our fourth trip to Europe will be um, Sweden and, and Copenhagen and all those types of Scandinavian countries in October. Uh, and then we got to just like sleep for like December. We got to nap at some point. That's a you lot. Know? The We've traveling been going takes hard. a toll. We've been grinding hard. Yeah. Bottle Rocket goes for it. Coming to a town near you sometime this month, probably. Teenage <laughs> Bottle Rocket. Sick. Well, I think I'm going to close with that and say thank you so much for uh, taking yeah. your time. Awesome. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Ray from Teenage Bottle Rocket, and you're watching Last Rockers TV.